Good evening, and on behalf of the Division of the Performing Arts and Campus Ministry, we no welcome one. you to the celebration of Holy Probably Mass. Not. We would like to affirm that all people of various faiths are welcome to celebrate the Mass with us this evening. However, if you are not Catholic, or if you are Catholic, but are not practicing or in a state of grace to receive the Sacrament of the Eucharist, please refrain from consuming the host at the time of communion. You are welcome to cross your arms over your chest as a sign that you would like to receive a blessing or you would still like to participate in this part of the liturgy. As a community, we are overjoyed to be able to have this time to come together and to give thanks for the gifts and talents that God has given each of us as artists. We come together in prayer. Let us reflect now on this letter of artists from John Paul, St. John Paul II as he highlights the beauty of the gift of our artistic creativity. He states, Through his artistic creativity, man appears more than ever in the image of God, and he accomplishes this task, above all, in shaping the wondrous material of his own humanity, and then exercising creative dominion over the universe which surrounds him. With loving regard, the divine artist passes on to the human artist a spark of his own surpassing wisdom, calling him to share in his creative power. As we reflect on these words, and in our innate calling to participate in God's plan for humanity through our capacity for artistry, please let us prepare our minds and hearts to receive God's loving presence in the Mass this evening. Lord, have 
have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. From the beginning of the book of Revelation. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave to him, to show his servants what must happen soon. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who gives witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ by reporting what he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud, and blessed are those who listen to this prophetic message, and heed what is written in it. For the appointed time is near. John, to the seven churches in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits before his throne. I heard the Lord saying to me, to the angel of the church in Ephesus, write this, the one who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks in the midst of the seven gold lampstands says this, I know your works, your labor, and your endurance and that you cannot tolerate the wicked. You have tested those who call themselves apostles, but are not, and have discovered that they are apostles. Moreover, you have endurance and have suffered for my name, and you have not grown weary. Yet I hold this against you. You have lost the love you had at first. Realize how far you have fallen. Repent and do the works you did at first. Otherwise, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place, unless you repent. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saw this, all the people gave praise to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise 
first thing that flies out the window. So way to keep perspective is to keep that sense of humor. And third and finally, uh, to keep a sense of the other, that we're in this together. And I know we make a lot of this in the Salesian Solidarity Pledge and our core values here, hospitality, patience, gentleness. You know, we know, as a matter of fact, and for putting them somewhere visible in, in the Palooza Theater. But to really keep in mind that we're in it together and that we care for one another. By taking care of ourselves, we're caring for one another. By keeping social distancing, wearing a mask, washing often, and self-monitoring, those things are holy things to do because we know they work. And when we don't do that, it's almost like we're mistreating not just ourselves, but the other. It's a new way to be a student, faculty member, staff member here on the campus of the Sales University. But truly our mantra has been, we're ready for anything. And so going back to that gospel, we might feel like we're sitting by that roadside, not seeing the road before us, but it guarantees us with the eyes of faith, Jesus is looking at us, calling us by name and saying, what do you want me to do for you? Let's respond to him. May God be praised. It is truly right and just 
our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set us over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Alfred, our Bishop, and all ministers of your gospel. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles, St. Francis de Sales, St. James de Chanteau, St. Margaret Mary, St. Leone Avia, Blessed Louis Brisson, and all who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the same command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Friends, the peace of the Lord is with you always. And let us somehow uh, virtually share this.
Now, but God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Now, but God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Now, but God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy that you should enter under my roof. I would only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
mass has ended, but the tailgate just begins. Thanks for the comment. Thanks for the comment. Okay, John. Thank you all for coming. Um, our closing hymn will be You Are Mine.